I feel like the way these guys died in a line, and then the last guy getting launched, did one of Zeus's bolts backfire and kill his own support? I'll have to replay that in editing, but I think that's what happened. first thought that came to mind when I was seeing about how to start this episode was put a hobbit down and watch it get destroyed by the catapults, and then I remembered playing the dynasty campaign, specifically as the dynasty, so I'm not able to use hobbits, so I'll use the next best thing, a ninja, because they pissed me off almost as much as the hobbits have. He's- nope, not alive, I was about to say, I think that man's still alive. And I- is he using a hand? Okay, no, it's just the blades of grass. They did not take his hand off. Okay, serious now. Thinking initial force a samurai to go in, take the brunt of the attack. And then a second wave that should hopefully be able to kill the catapults before they can reload. That is the- only way this actually plays out well. Sorry, men, you're gonna be a sacrifice. Oh, this may work. Oh, what? Why did they pop them out of the? It worked anyways. They don't have enough time to reload, so it worked anyways. But still, why are they popping them into existence like that? Catapult's done. Next up, knights and their squires. Oh, you think you're real cute, don't you? Especially when I have $4,000. It's gonna be easy enough. I've learned enough about the Dynasty campaign to know what does and doesn't work. And I know the monk is an insane melee combat unit that has a lot of health. The knights have a decent bit of health and squires are very Puncturable with arrows. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did not say puncturable correctly, or that that is even a word, but I know that the monks are gonna survive long enough to get everyone to group up so the watches can miss a majority of their shots? I don't think it's gonna matter. Wow. I am getting scarily good at this. Yeah, you're not gonna survive, buddy. That's about right. Wait, who's still alive? Who's still alive? You gotta be joking me. There we go. I was about to say, there's one idiot squire using the bodies of his friends as a shield. <laughs> Hiding under his friends as the watches barraged him. Luckily, one of the arrows hit just right to penetrate just deep enough in so that they managed to hit the guy in the nuts. Nice. Seriously though, this is concerning. I'm getting way too good at this. It's the next level. Notes and arrows, revenge. I remember this level actually, and yeah, we we did a lot of really bad things to these guys. Um, sadly though, adding a few more archers and a few more targetable bards. So the mix, as well as some catapults, isn't really going to save you at all. Um, come on, guys. Oh, yeah, you're not going to deflect those. You are going to do a sick flip with your sword, though. Okay, enough. My plan. Oh, that one guy got very specifically destroyed. My plan seems to be working. Samurai are taking the majority of the brunt as well as dealing with the majority of the enemies. Firework archers are launching whatever remains afterwards. Oh, that poor bard. That poor bard. Look at him go. He's break dancing and breaking bones. A bit of both. Oh, buddy. Oh, you don't stand a chance, my guy. You do not stand a chance. You got firework archers on one end, samurai on another. You got an entire battalion coming after you. Oh, there we go, right in his puffy pants.
And we have won. God, this is moving quick. Oh, crap. King's Zimbos. So much for moving quickly. If you don't remember the last time we encountered three kings, it was not good. Um... Kings are extremely strong. So... Actually, let's do... Let's use monks. Hopefully the monks are combative enough to be human sacrifice. I am using the monks like human sacrifices. Poor bastards. Um, they will be human sacrifices, and the dragons will hopefully be able to cook the kings alive while they're fighting the monks. I'm not 100% sure, though, considering the monks are already dead. Oh, it's not great. I'm not worried about the archers. I'm worried about these three. Wow, it worked. What? 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 You gotta be kidding me. So last time I just needed a bunch of dragons. Oh, great. Well, I didn't have access to dragons then, so... Shove it. Okay, what's next? I'm gonna finish out the dynasty at this rate. Not with these strange little Sarissas doing what they're doing. Uh... My guy? Your... Pfft. Jesus Christ. Um, you're penetrating that guy's cape. That guy's resting his spear on that guy's shoulder. That guy's about to cut that guy's neck. This guy's holding it above his head. And this guy's got him through his freaking armpits. And his shield's being played. You guys don't know how to keep a formation, do you? Anything interesting going on here? Um... <laughs> You gotta be kidding me! Dude, if you were over a little bit more, you'd be puncturing his spine. No one's on this side defending this guy. You're all pointed in one direction. What is wrong with you guys? Oh, these are these snakes are going up someone's bum. Okay. Hmm. This is gonna be easy. Not what I meant. This is gonna be really easy. Like I said, easy. Surprisingly enough, when you know what you're doing and you know the weaknesses of other units because you've fought as those units and you know what worked well against you, it's extremely easy to rip them apart. Unsurprisingly, when you fight battles as other people, you learn how to beat them because you get beat enough at yourself as them. Okay, what's up next? Minotaur delivery. Guys, we just did this. Get something original. Dragon. No, maybe I should replace that dragon. Oh, right. I forgot how much the Minotaurs can move. They dismantled the dragons. The hoplites are doing okay. This guy's stuck on the dragon, unable to move. And getting pelted with arrows. Hard things going over on this alley. The minotaur is now missing. Where did he went the other way around? That wasn't the brightest idea. Now you're in just a shooting gallery. Guys, no. They're gonna blow themselves up. Well, he's got one of my firework archers in hand. I may have been a bit too cocky on this one. Okay, reset. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh. Got a few. The watcher worked. But it's not getting dismantled. Do we have another watcher? We still have one more, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, guys. Guys. It, it worked? Oh, but not for long. Well, we're finally starting to hit a dead end, uh, literally. So, watch a good monk bad. Too many watches bad. Okay, monkey king going one on one with the minotaur. I'm not sure the minotaur knows what's going on exactly. It's just punching at whatever moves. The watcher took out the rest of the battalion on that side. That's pretty good. 
I have no clue what the Monkey King is winning or losing because I don't know which one is actually him, but I think he's winning because he just took out the Minotaur. Uppercutted that bastard into the stratosphere. Come on. Come on, Monkey King. You got this. You got this. Right? I think. It's so confusing to watch this guy fight. Oh, he just collapsed a guy into the ground. Okay, yeah. He won. Holy shit. Don't piss off the Monkey King. Must have been his birthday. It's like, oh, I gotta be called into work on my birthday. I'm pissed about this. So pissed, I'm gonna smack this guy through the ground. He's gonna be looking into the back room to get his head torn off. How do you think I'd kill him? Okay. That was an execution. On both sides. Zeus and other folks. Well, Zeus, knowing the way he is, is gonna shove a lightning bolt right where the sun don't shine on those other folks. Gonna light them up like a goddamn light bulb. Poor bastards. Zeus... Zeus's weakness, from what I remember, was firework archers. He did not do a very good job dealing with them. Oh, Well, that went about as expected. He's puncturing my poor little dragon's face. Did I even need... Did I even need backup? Yes. No. Holy crap, the dragon just obliterated them. What? happened to you Zeus it's like oh man when my dad hears about this he's gonna be pissed what dragon took us all out Jesus the firework archers are like why were we even called here well okay oh crap blisters well 6,000 oh I know it's unlikely to work but three monkey kings separate them not trying to have two get taken out by one bliss. I've seen that happen. Three monkey kings versus an entire battalion. And ballistas. Oh. Come on. Well, the ballistas missed entirely because I think they were aiming for the wrong monkey king. Then again, I myself can't even tell who the right monkey king is. Did this actually work? The Monkey King. Why did I get victory twice? I'll take it! Double victory! No clue why, but double victory! <laughs> Tore them apart. Okay. Zeus's revenge! Aw, Zeus, did you get mad about the little comment I made about you getting destroyed by a single dragon so you brought your bigger Zeus brother? Well, uh, we can tell which one is the one who got beat last time because his hands are shaking. The other one doesn't know what to fear yet. Okay. It's like last time. Except triple it up and... Let's bring those firework archers back in. I think I still got them on call. Like, why are we here again? The dragons are going to do all the work. What's the point of us? The point of you is to deal with the snakes and whatever remains. Especially when the dragons are trying to cook themselves. It's not how you want to do it, but at the very least, look at Zeus go! <laughs> Let him rip! <laughs> Dude was spinning like a freaking blade ba bay blade. Oh, that one's got in one in the abdomen. Um. Oh, I don't know who's winning here. Yes, there's two gods and snakes. Nope, it's not going to work this time. Okay, no go on the firework archers. How about a battalion of ninjas off to the side? Backed up by a group of samurais. Maybe they'll deflect some snakes. Dragons are doing more work this time. Ninjas are capably getting in there. I have no clue. There's Yes, there's some samurai left. Zeus, however, is really being a pain. But, oh, that samurai got so close. Come on, just kick Zeus in the wall. No, your foot got bit by a snake. Yeah, I'm not paying any of you hazard pay for getting melded with snakes. You are being a pain in the ass. Okay, watch us. 
Long range, lots of arrows, plenty of penetration. This would do just fine. Snake. I'm sorry, did I miss something? What happened to the snake archers? They got destroyed and I had nothing to do with it. There we go. See, replace the dragons with watchers and suddenly you win. It's as if I know what I'm doing. But I feel like the way these guys died in a line and then the last guy getting launched. Did one of Zeus's bolts backfire and kill his own support? I'll have to replay that in editing, but I think that's what happened. <coughs> oh, criminy. Compact form. You know, Vikings were around because they were a hardy, tough bunch, you know. It was impossible to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. They were incredibly powerful, incredibly skilled, and incredibly talented in the art of war. They knew exactly what, probably knew exactly what they were doing the entire time. Problem is, they're not very strategically smart. You know, so I think they had a few moments in history where they were pretty smart, but most of the time they just did what they wanted to and said screw it to the rest. Just like now compacting themselves against the dynasty who has watches and possibly dragons if the watches don't work but i have a feeling this is not going to go the way you guys think it will could say the same for myself talk about cocky i killed half their force but that wasn't quite enough okay do this then three dragons two watches watches to kill whatever the dragons don't get and a group of samurai to take the initial berserker jump yeah this went about as expected when I actually put a little more thought into it samurai are all dead but there's not exactly anyone left to fight, so it doesn't matter. There we go. Everyone's dead. God, I love this. I'm sorry, but is one of those... Actually, what am I saying? It's a pulpit-shaped dragon. Why would it have a butt? <laughs> okay, moving on. More viking, more viking. Great leap. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a great leap, alright. Look at the number of them. Luckily enough, they're not the brightest. Those ice archers, however, are concerning. I never noticed that. Their bows are made out of ice. It makes sense, but I didn't know it. Okay, um... Samurai to take the initial leap. And I'm actually thinking dragon to clean up afterwards. And a few firework archers to hopefully do a little bit of work if needed. But hopefully, it won't be. Oh, the Monkey King doesn't do so well when he's slowed down. But... I think it's a little hard with all the snow and ice, but I think... Dragon's down dead. The firework archers are still doing work. The Monkey King... I don't know if they're both alive. I think only one of them's alive. It's still doing pretty damn good work, and the firework archers are bringing up the Rio to deal with whatever remains. This, I think, in the end, was a success. <clears throat> An absolute success. Ew, not these crabby little Valkyries. How much do I have left? Actually, these are the last two levels. So, the Vikings are all that stand between me and total world domination. Lovely. So, it's a good thing I'm using all my strategic force, aka sacrificing samurai to the dragons. Valkyries dive, dragons cook, and we're gonna have fried Valkyrie tonight. Yep, just as soon as the dragons stop mating, they'll kill the last Valkyrie. 
Oh, she is stuck in the middle of all of that, isn't she? Yep, there we go. And all that remains is the Viking army. With two boats, two chiefs, and a bunch of berserkers. This is going to be amazing. Samurai is an initial combative force, of course. We want to have some dragons pull up the rear to hopefully do some damage as well. And I'm thinking firework archers to finish off whatever remains. We have a pretty standard strategy at this point for dealing with the problems. Right, I forget these guys are magic. It's maybe a little harder than I thought. Much more difficult than I thought that strategy normally works, but we only killed <coughs> a fourth, maybe a third. Hmm. Yeah. Watch us in a crap ton of samurai? Not when the watchers overshoot like almighty hell. Jesus! Were you aiming at all? Yes! Oh, that reload time. That worked. Now I just need something that can actually stall these guys for long enough. I am thinking monks. They did get... Ah, Jesus. They did get torn apart pretty quickly, but they did survive for a while. It may just be long enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, don't let a few oarmen be my downfall. Don't. No, come on, guys. Please, thank God. If I lost to a single... Hey! Kung Fu Master. Finished Dynasty Campaign. Nice. I lost to a single idiotic spanky orman. I would have lost my goddamn mind. Oh, but it worked. We sacrificed hundreds of our own units, killed so many with fire, pain, and agony, and terrible, terrible combat. But we came out on top. Sort of. I mean, the dynasty is in shambles. There's no one left to live. <laughs> There's no one left to enjoy this victory but me, but hey! I'm still here. And that is the Dynasty campaign complete. Well done, the di- Well done. Completed the Dynasty campaign. Thank you for playing through the di Dynasty campaign, showing the new faction. For right now, I'm going to leave this episode of Tabs and the Dynasty campaign off here. Uh, next episode, I believe we're going to be moving on to the Renaissance campaign because that was the next campaign that the tabs developers released uh yeah we're gonna be moving on there into the artsy world of the renaissance to see how much fight some painters can really put up you know either way for right now hope you all enjoyed this episode of tabs if you did think about think about checking out the place down in the description when you watch all past future episodes as well think about leaving a like comment subscribe all that good stuff and that'd be good be well and i'll see all of you in the next Goodbye.